Candace, Candace Jordan here at the Oscar party at the Gene Siskel Film Center. This is going to be an action-packed night, lots of fashions. I understand you're sold out, Gene. Totally sold out. We're so excited about this evening because there's such great energy here and such great movies to celebrate. Fashion is what it's all about for me when it's the Oscars. So my friends from Space 519 found me this outfit. I'm inspired by the artist with the white and the black. So, you know, or black and white. So, yeah, so I'm excited. What would you advise somebody trying to put together a red carpet outfit? Bold color. I would say try a bold color and get something that really fits you and matches your personality. And I love the eyeshadow that matches the dress. I know they say not to do it, but on you it looks fabulous. Oh gosh, thank you, but I wasn't really trying to match, overly match. I just oh, look at it, it's purple and yellow. Um, I just thought I'd go you know, a little old school with the ascot. People aren't really rocking them anymore, so I thought I'd bring back a classic for this event. I'm actually wearing an Italian designer, Antonio Maris. She wears her outfits very well. Um, I have another tuxedo, but I didn't have it at home, so I wore this one. If you spill something on it, you really can't tell. That's why I like it. I love Candy Candace. She's an amazing attribute to the city of Chicago. Everybody should follow her on your Facebook and your blog. She's amazing, and I love you. Check in the mail. Wait a minute. Do you have a favorite tonight? Yes, I do. It's um, my... What's the one with uh, my day with uh, well, so Marilyn? Much. Marilyn, my day, oh, my yeah. favorite movie. Oh, I haven't seen that. Was oh, ever... see it. Oh. The Tree of Life was my favorite. <laughs> I'm in for the Descendants. Iron Woman, Iron Lady with Meryl Streep. I'd have to say the artist. The artist. And what about you? Uh, I've got children, so my my movies end up being influenced by them. So I'm going to say Hugo. Mine too. I love Hugo. Actually, I'd like to see the Iron Maiden win. I'm a very big fan of Margaret Thatcher because she was a strong woman. Oh my gosh. Um, I have to go with Moneyball because I'm a big Brad Pitt, Brad Pitt fan. <laughs> I think The Help. The Help. Mm -hmm. Oh, what about you? The Help. Yeah. I enjoyed The Descendants. I actually did. It made me rethink about selling my family's land. I haven't had time to watch a damn thing, Candace. <laughs> what about Bridesmaids? Did you see Bridesmaids? <laughs> no. It was so funny. Nobody seen it. Bridesmaids. I didn't see it. I oh didn't. God, it's it. hysterically funny. Bridesmaids. Did anybody see Bridesmaids? Oh, Bridesmaids is a who. <laughs> it's fun. Maybe The Help? The Help? I'm looking forward to seeing the artist take it. I do, the artist. Uh, the artist. The artist. The artist. I do think the artist is going to take it. It's, you know, taking a classic theme of silent movies and bringing it back. I have a lot of favorite films, so I've seen almost all of them, but The Artist, it was a very unexpected movie for the whole audience because no one knew what to expect from a black and white with A, no speaking in it, and at the end, it was like a standing ovation. I'm really hoping Meryl Streep actually finally gets her first Oscar. <laughs> She's a genius. As a matter of fact, you don't even realize she's acting because it's like she fills the role like it's a natural. Yeah. She's been nominated, I think, almost 27 times. Go ahead, Viola Davis. She's our favorite. Viola Davis, she's a winner. And we're pulling for Jonah Hill, but Christopher Plummer will be okay. Yeah. I was hoping it was going to be Kristen Wiig for Bridesmaids. I thought I that was love very good. Yeah, I thought that was oh, you're the only person that's mentioned bridesmaids really? all night. Yeah. They need more comedies to win these I things, know, you know? Agree. They just always snub the comedies. The Gene Siskel Film Center is one of the only places in Chicago where you can see independent film and young artists can bring their work here and it's a venue that they are shown where normal theaters don't typically show them. We do, you know, interesting programming, kind of the stuff that you don't get at the big box office movie theaters. Classic movies and foreign films, so it's for a good cause. I love it that everybody's having a blast and, you know, a great time, but in the end, for the Gene Siskel Film Center, it means a lot because you're supporting a great cause. Boy, this is a great night for Oscars. I love being here at the Gene Sisko Film Center. They have a sellout crowd of over 300 people. They are celebrating 40 years of programming in international films, American films, and independent programming. And if you want to learn more, if you want to donate to the Gene Sisko Film Center, go to www.siskofilmcenter.org for more information. Canada, Canada, Chicago, bringing it to you every time, every week. Thanks.